John here guys and today we're talking about the beta FPV version of the Express LRS open source receiver protocol system. This is the micro or light module version that fits onto any small size transmitter like this gamer style jumper T lights. Uh, it just fits on the back like perfect. There's two antenna options that we're gonna show you. The linear antenna like this, or you can get a little nice diamond version. And I wanted to cover this item because I've been using Express LRS on my Jumper T18 Pro, the 2.4 version, but there's also a 915 megahertz flavor that is similar to Crossfire. Uh, but it is open source, much more readily available and cheaper. Now, Beta FPV not only is making these modules, which is really a nicely produced piece of plastic, uh, a lot nicer than the printed version that I have on my radio. And they also have a nice series of receivers. Now, the receivers are a little bit bigger than the other Express LRS receivers out there but they're very easy to use and the one thing that i thought was very cool was that you can actually bind it up very easily now to put this thing into bind mode all you have to do is power it up and push the button once and then it goes into bind mode to get your receiver into bind mode all you do is take your quad with the receiver installed and you plug it quickly three times plug it in plug it in plug it in beetlejuice 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 it's showtime three times that puts it into bind mode you can tell it's in bind mode one it's doing a double flash not a hyper super flash but a double flash when it goes into there you push the bind button on here, or you go into your Lua script that you install into your radio, put it into bind mode, and then it'll be bound. If the light is solid, you're bound up and ready to go. So that was like super easy. All I had to do was copy one file onto the radio for the Lua script. And the other cool thing about this is you can change the power by holding the button. Now I'm in a higher level, the red version, and now you go into another power level. Uh, which is the purple one. So really, really super easy to use. I'm gonna keep it in the default blue. Uh, it's one thing that's slightly irritating is that it doesn't do any light indication if it's in bind mode. You just single press it, it goes into bind mode. So I found it a little bit easier just to use the Lua script to go into bind mode, but let's check out the units themselves. Here we go with everything packaged, some nice instructions in here. And the units themselves are almost identically sized to a crossfire antenna. It has this sort of a little mini immortal T style antenna with some nice protection in the middle this is very easy to mount using a zip tie so i do like that quite a lot it comes with a little bit of heat shrink and some wire for you to be able to wire it up the instructions on both this unit and the module itself were actually exceptionally good this really makes it pretty easy it tells you how to wire up everything it tells you how to set your settings in beta flight now they are not as small as the tiny little versions that are made by happy model you can compare the size of both of these right there and you can see it's almost twice as big. Again, this is pretty much the same size as a crossfire or receiver. Not as tiny as this little ceramic antenna, although this one you can see is actually broken. I've broken a couple of these antennas and there's another receiver where I broke the antenna clear off. Something with a UFL is a little bit nicer. This thing is really easy to use. It's so much nicer than the printed version that I'm using. These receivers are inexpensive and pretty easy to come by. Now, eventually, um, all of these receivers should be able to be compatible with the happy model version of Express LRX or a homemade version of Express LRS. But until they actually show up in the configurator, which should be very soon, and they may already be there by the time this video comes out, they're not cross compatible. If you do see them in the drop down on the Express LRS configurator, then they're compatible. So I do like that I don't necessarily have to update anything here. I can just install it, hit the bind button, and boom, I'm ready to go. So it's one less step compared to the other Express LRS. Now the 900 hertz uh, versus 2.4 gigahertz 
Uh, I like 2.4, uh, it's probably a little bit lower latency if you want a little bit more range. People want a bit more range these days. You can go with the 915. I just wanted to try this because I had already tried the 2.4. Personally for 915, I'm gonna stick with Crossfire because I feel like it's proven to be a little bit more reliable, but this system is very inexpensive. These receivers are very inexpensive compared to their Crossfire counterparts. So if you just wanna save a little money, you can go that route. What I'm actually gonna end up doing is using 2.4 on Express LRS and for 915 megahertz, I'm staying with Crossfire. So really cool to have another option out there. For those of you that do have this Beta FPV light radio, um, there's not really an easy way to get a module on here. You can crack this thing open and wire up something that you can do it with, but probably easier just to buy something like this jumper T light. It's pretty inexpensive. It's like 75 bucks, or you can get one of the radio master T eights. I'll put links for all of this stuff down in the description below. What do you guys think in the comments? Are you on express LRS yet? Are you on the beta FPV version or the happy model version? So many open source versions of this protocol are coming out lately. And it really is nice to have more choices on the market and more lower priced versions we all should stop using and recommending fr sky to anyone so it's nice that there are some versions coming out of receiver systems that are in that price range and readily available that we can recommend so that we make sure nobody buys any more fr sky they're doing really bad compatibility breaking issues it's making newcomers really struggle to get started up and i actually do like this beta fpv version it fits really nice what do you think in the comments thanks guys